Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Underground. I am joined by Ken from Cappy Games. Hello, sir. How's it going? We are playing Super Time Force Ultra on PS4 yes, right Super Time now. Force Ultra. Let's w welcome no and, and let us lot. let us begin. Yeah, and I'm just... not even gonna I'm gonna let you play. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just jump right in. Okay. Um, Tell yeah. me about Super Time Force Ultra, the game about time clones, which uh, I just coined myself earlier. Yeah, earlier time this clones morning. is a is a good name for this. So this is, <laughs> as you can tell, it's sort of a retro inspired. 2D mm -hmm. pixel art uh, run and gun shooter, uh, but it sort of has a time traveling twist. Um, so you run around, you blow things up. Um, <laughs> I love this description yeah. already. Uh, run around, blow things up. So there's a bunch of different characters that you can play as. Um, but wait. Yeah, so you can run around, <laughs> shoot things. Uh, you have your primary attack, and then you can charge up and do your secondary attack. And there's a whole bunch of different. Uh, characters that you can pick each with their own unique abilities and things like that. Cool. Um, so the time traveling twist is that if you get shot and die, <gasps> no! Time no! out. Oh, oh, okay. And then you can sort of like rewind, fast forward, so you can manipulate time. Okay. Uh, and then you can jump back in at a safe point. Like, yeah, you're like, uh, yeah, let me just go all the way back here. Choose a new character. And then now you have your previous self running around there, blowing oh things up gosh. with you. Now, so, and, his, and, and his previous, your, your former time clone self, yes. is still doing damage yeah, and exactly. blowing stuff up. Yeah, so the, the, the whole idea is that the more you time out and the more you die and the more you rewind, the bigger of this army you're building of, of yourself. So is it possible that just by the end of a stage you have like a gazillion people following you and, and attacking? Or yeah. is, there a, is there a limit? Is, have you imposed a few uh, regulations on the time forcing? Uh, yeah, so we give you 30 timeouts to work okay, with. Okay, got um, it. Which I think is, is plenty. That's more than enough. Yeah. Uh, and the other, I would have been happy with five. <laughs> uh, it's sort of a nod to Contra. I don't know, I, I, like a lot of people who played Contra back in the day, the game's pretty much impossible unless you do the 30-man code, so it's sort of a <laughs> nod to that. Uh, yeah, this, this whole game in general is sort of a nod to 80s and 90s culture. Okay. Because, uh, you know, that's what we grew up playing as. Yeah, rock on. Uh, so yeah, so as you die, you're building this army of yourself. Um, and you, yeah, eventually the whole point is that you have like an entire army of yourself running around. Uh, it's something that we, we coined single player co op. Okay. Because, you know, I you're like it. Essentially playing with yourself. And this character you're playing with right now looks like they have a couple shield techniques yeah. of some kind. So this is Shieldy Blockerson. So, so there's different. Wait, what is the character's name? Uh, Shieldy Blockerson. Shieldy Blockerson. Yeah. This is m one of my new favorite <laughs> games of all time. Yeah. So, yeah, so this whole game, there's a whole bunch of like wacky characters. Um, so the, the story revolves around uh, your commander. He's sort of a scientist who discovers time travel. Okay. Um, but as soon as he does that, all of a sudden the world gets invaded with these these robots that you're fighting, the Blown bots. Okay. Um, so he makes it his mission to sort of save the world. Um, sure. By, as all good-natured scientists yeah, probably do. By jumping around through time and fixing hi history's dumb mistakes, as he puts it. Okay. Um, so, you know, in this game you travel to different time periods, so you'll go back to, you know, the dinosaur era. Okay. To save the dinosaurs, because, sure. you know, that'll make the world a better place, obviously. Sure. Um, so, oh, to preserve dinosaur life. Yeah. Okay. You know, not, <laughs> not to destroy it, but to make yeah, sure yeah, that they yeah, survive. Yeah, because okay. he thinks it would be awesome to, you know, have dinosaur Still have buddies dinosaurs rolling around? Yeah. Um, you'll go back to the medieval times. Um, so, yeah, this, this, this game takes place across different time zones, so you'd be fighting different things in different time periods. Uh, I'm, I'm really bad at this game right no, now. No, it's So fine. as you can tell, this game is sort of a one-hit kill. It's supposed to meant to be sure. kind of hardcore. Because um, the idea is that, sure, it's hard, sure, you'll die a lot, but since you can rewind time, you can sort of fix your mistakes. So as you can tell, I just saved her life by blocking the bullets that would have killed her. Oh. So that's sort of a mechanic in the game. And once you do that, you can sort of collect them and they become a power-up. Oh. So now you combine the both of your characters together. So now you're a shield who also has a laser. Oh my gosh! So I not only it. yeah, so not only do uh, the characters have different abilities, but you know you, you got to figure out the situation where they're the best at. Yeah. What different combination of characters will work really well to deal with different situations? Absolutely. So you know on the surface it kind of looks like a chaotic, you know, just run and gun shooter, but there's sort of uh, this sort of strategic element behind it. Yeah. Absolutely. In that you know you're timing out, figuring out where to rewind, uh, figuring out who to use in different situations. Um, and as you play, you're going to be finding different uh, unlockable characters hidden throughout the worlds. Um, 
So eventually you're gonna have this huge roster of characters, and they're all sort of wacky and crazy. So you no, know, you have Shield mean yeah. Shieldy Blockerson isn't a totally normal <laughs> character. Come on. So yeah, Shieldy Blockerson, and I, I just saved another character. Um, I'll show you. You're you're a beast right now. You're a hero. Yeah. Well. Now you you have 30 timeouts that you said you're working with. Yeah. Um, is that is that just the number of kind of clones that you can make, yeah. or do you literally, can you only time out 30 times and then it's game over? Uh, yeah, so that's how many, they're sort of like lives. So they're once sort of you've like used lives. up the 30 of them, then okay. if you die one more time, then, then you get game over. So there is kind of an end state to yeah. a level, and you'll have to just start from scratch yeah. again. Originally, so we wanted this game to have infinite enemies, but we realized that's technically impossible. Okay, um, got it. we experimenting with having like 100 characters on screen, but it just gets way too chaotic, and uh, you know, Machines can't keep up with that that kind of chaos. So Ken, you're playing coy with me right now. You want to know why? Because I know you have some secrets to show off. Uh, yeah, that's true. So as you know, this game is we're we're uh, working on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita version, which are coming um, this year. Yeah, yeah, hopefully later this year. Soon. Um, so soon. Okay. Yeah. We'll say soon. So for that, we wanted to uh, create a special lineup of Sony specific characters. Um, so the one that we announced uh, last year was Shuhei. Oh my god. So he's the president of Oh sorry, I just let's <laughs> <laughs> so rewind that. No. Sorry. Pretend you didn't see that. No, Shuhei. Yeah. So when you think of Shuhei, what do you think of first, you know? Uh, I think of the president of Sony Computer Entertainment Worldwide Studios. Yes, of course. And of And then I also think of him tweeting and uh, doing yeah. a lot of social media. Yeah, so he's like the if you've ever met him, he's like the friendliest guy. So we didn't want to give him like and look a at crazy look at his weapon. run animation. <laughs> Tell me that's not the best thing. Yeah, so he fights shooting hearts. Um, so no, you, you can destroy people with love, I guess. Okay, well, they do say kill them with kindness. Yeah, yeah. so that's exactly what he does. Okay. Um, and he you also has... You kill Shuhei one more time, <laughs> Ken. You're going to break my this heart. This game is difficult, okay? <laughs> uh, so he can charge, and he can, he, he can use his phone and tweet. So he can destroy people with tweets. Was that a hashtag? Uh, uh, STFU? Yeah, so STFU doesn't mean what you think you it think means. It means right. It's the uh, abbreviation for the game, Super Time Force Ultra. Of course. Which, and you meant nothing more by yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Um, we kind of did that on purpose. When we first created the game, Super Time Force, and we realized it abbreviated to STF, we're like, yeah. all right, we got to release <laughs> gotta uh, put that an ultra one. version <laughs> to, to finish the joke. Oh no! Something bad just happened. Yeah, so this is the main villain of the game. His name is Dr. Infinity. Okay. He tries to foil all of your your missions, and, okay. and you don't really understand why. Okay. Um, so as you can see, he's sort of... He's not very good at his job either. His machine just broke down. Right. Um, he, he looks like he's trying to hide his face, sort yeah. of. Yeah, with his, uh, his iPad mask, which has a blue screen right now. Oh, no. Dr. Infinity, you got to <laughs> sort it out, man. Yeah, so you, you'll... He's a mess. Yeah, exactly. So you'll encounter him a few times... Um, throughout the game. So this is your commander, Commander Rapitsky. He's a guy in charge. Um, they're all sort of, this, is, so this whole game is sort of, doesn't take itself too seriously. No, it's deathly serious, man. <laughs> it's time travel. I'm all so. in. <laughs> so you, uh, so I gotta say that Shuhei, we all love Yoshida-san, but yeah. he's not the only one. Yeah, that's true. It's been added to this so roster. So let's see who else we have in store for you. I'm so excited. This is perfect. Oh, I like that little uh, that little radar device. <laughs> I totally, totally love, love you guys. All right, so the next guy we have <gasps> is Journey character. I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's in uh, different language. The Hooded Traveler. Yes, the Hooded Traveler. So I yeah, know that's not official. <laughs> that's just my interpretation of the character's name. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, Journey, another really big game on. A, PSN? a huge game and a special game to a lot of gamers, yeah. including Shuhei, actually. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's all connected, man. So when you think of this guy, what do you think of? Uh, I think of really peaceful and poignant meditation on the cyclical nature of life and the eventual rise uh, towards a sort of higher understanding of the greater universe. When we thought of him, we thought of him blowing out robots. Okay, stuff, so. perfect. <laughs> Let's so, do it. Yeah, Let's do so that one. We wanted to keep that in mind. Like He's a sort of a peaceful character, so he doesn't have a huge gun or anything like that. But he can sort of uh, summon scarves. Yes. Um, so he doesn't exactly attack anyone, but the scars will always uh, try to protect him. So he's a, he's a really different character. He can float around, he can double jump. Mm -hmm. So anytime we, we sort of do these crossover characters, we put a lot of effort to make sure you know we stay true yeah, to the, the original. Uh, to the source material. Yeah. Um, and, and the scarves, the flying scarves yeah. are definitely a theme in yeah. Journey. Absolutely. So yeah, it was really awesome you know, working with the, that game company. Um, and just doing these sort of uh, these crossover characters in general, you know, they gave us sort of the creative freedom to do whatever we want. So we, you know, we 
obviously put a lot of effort to make sure that, you know, to stay true to the themes of the game. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was really awesome, you know, that they let us do something like this. And I think... Can you can you do the little chirp? Yeah, like so you can do the chirp, and they, they it sort of acts like a shield, so you can reflect bullets. Oh, cool. Yeah. Chirpy. So, I'm so glad that I don't <laughs> think I've seen you die as the Journey character Yeah, yet, exactly. So, well so. done. Let's, let's keep it that way. So we have one more character. What? Yes. So Is it me? It. Um, <laughs> no comment yet. But yeah, yes, so, so we wanted me. to have one more sort of badass character. Okay. You know? so someone, yeah. let's, let's have someone with a crazy gun. So we decided Sir Galahad Whew! from The Order. 1886. Know? Yeah, so one of the biggest games of this year. Mm -hmm. um, so he's, you know, your, your typical badass. He's got his Luger pistol. And then of course he's got his trademark art cannon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this guy's Phenomenal. just Phenomenal. Yeah, this guy's just your badass. Yeah, just... I, I love that the mustache is a pronounced part <laughs> of his sprite. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, the pixel art looks amazing, by the way. I love it. So yeah. kudos to your artists. Yeah. Or artists. Yeah. I don't know how many artists are working on this. Uh, yeah, so the art team was uh, just three three guys from the studio. Uh, Mike, Vic, and Kelly. Um, so, you know, they're amazing pixel artists and Especially when we, we gave them the opportunity to do these characters, like as you saw Shuhei, you know, he's sort of wacky. Yeah. You, you kind of have to give these characters a unique visual design in order to make them fit into, you know, this like 10 by 10 pixels or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. You know, their face is only like two pixels for the eyes. <laughs> that. So it really, is, it, it's a, it takes a lot of care to, to put, you know, personality into, into the pixel art. So I think they did a really awesome job. Absolutely. And even, and you know, especially with things like even animation, I mean, yeah. you can get a lot of, you know, personality yeah. out of it, how something animates. And yeah, something, exactly. You know, displays on screen. So. so, you know, people think, you know, pixel art, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's outdated or it's really easy to do. But I, you know, we don't, I don't agree completely with that. You that's, know, I think, that's fair. Especially yeah. at, the, at the studio, you know, we, we really treat pixel art as, you know, a, a, a valid art style. You yeah. know, it's not just something you do because you know you're trying to be retro or whatever like that. Um, no, absolutely, it has its merits. Like like so many art styles out there, yeah, exactly. it has its merits. Absolutely, uh, I'm I'm actually a huge fan of pixel art, yeah. so I'm all for it. Yeah, but. me too. You know, I grew up playing 8-bit games, so yeah. I might I might be a little bit biased, but you know. Oh no, we totally are. <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> there's no doubt about yeah. it. But that doesn't mean that it's not everything you said isn't 100% true. Yeah. Um, that is looking so good, man. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about before we wrap up, and you can keep playing, you know, in the background, and I'll, I'll test you on how well you can okay, play and be interviewed at the same time. Super Time Force Ultra is coming to PS4 and PS Vita. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be soon. Yeah, it's going to be a cross buy. Cross buy game. Um, I think we're targeting fourteen ninety nine. Okay. As, as the price. So point. early early targets are looking yeah. like that. Excellent. Um, I, I, I mean, how, what is it like developing on PlayStation, man? Has it, um, been, a, has it been a good ride? Yeah, for sure. You can only say yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, especially the PS4. I mean, this, of course, the, the PS4 is a super powerful machine, you know, much more powerful than, than you need for a game like this. Mm. Um, but yeah, developing has been super easy. Um, for Vita, you know, we didn't really have the Vita in mind when we originally developed the game, so there's a little uh, reworking that we're going to have to do. But we're working with a really great company, Other Ocean. Mm. They're helping us out with a lot of the, the Vita specific questions Excellent. that we had. Excellent. But, I don't know, we're just super excited to have it on Vita. I mean, we're all huge fans of the Vita at the studio. Um, you know, most people play all of their games on Vita because, you know, it's easy to play games on the go. Mm -hmm. um, so true. Yeah. And this this game seems like such an yeah, awesome exactly. fit. Yeah, exactly. When we, so. after we finished the game, we're like, man, imagine we could play this on the go. <laughs> so <laughs> having the opportunity to put it on Vita, I think is something that a lot of us wanted to see too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well then, I'm, I'm sure that the Vita community is really appreciative that you guys are bringing it over. Yeah. You know. I can't speak for them, of course, <laughs> but as a Vita owner myself, yeah. I appreciate it. And all of the stuff coming on Vita, I mean, it's so exciting, you yeah. know? With you know, Titan Souls, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I think... Uh, Shovel Knight, I think, was recently announced. Um, I think uh, Shovel Knight's on the way. So, oh, well, yeah. sorry, we're giving ourselves away a little bit. Oh, okay. Because this is being recorded at a different time. Yes. But yeah, <laughs> Shovel Knight, now available. Yeah, now available, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, but Ken, it was so nice to have you yeah, here, no man. Problem. And thank you for sh here. showing off uh, Super Time Force Ultra, STFU. STFU. As informally called. Um, any, any parting words for the PlayStation community? Um, not really. Nope. Uh, <laughs> so, nope, I'm good. I'm kind of boss right now. Uh, so excuse my, you know, 
my inability yeah, to Dr. speak. Yeah, Dr. Affinity isn't going to fight himself. Yes. Unless in, in this, sometimes in this case, he botches his own plans. Yeah. But that's all right. But yeah, so look forward to Super Time Force on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. Um, yeah, check it out, buy it, enjoy it, and enjoy the new characters. And yeah, that's it. Thank you, Ken. No problem. That was Super Time Force Ultra, and that was PlayStation Underground. My thanks again to Ken for coming on, and of course, we will have more Underground in the future, so come on back to YouTube and check us out. In the meantime, I'm going to have Ken sign our developer wall, because that is what we do around here. So thanks again, Ken, and there you go. Cheers, guys.